It's important to know that the Gleason score has gone through a huge amount of evolution over the last two or three decades. Originally, the Gleason score was the sum of two numbers, and those numbers ranged from one through to five. So one was the least aggressive, five was the most aggressive. That was a Gleason grade, and the Gleason score is the sum of the two most predominant Gleason grades. Okay, so then we say, well, what is this Gleason grade? The Gleason grade is a number that the pathologist attributes to a particular pattern that they see following a biopsy. The biopsy is then reviewed by the pathologist, and the first question is, is there cancer, yes or no? If there is cancer, then we get the grade. What the pathologist does microscopically is assess the architecture or the pattern of disease that he or she sees microscopically. If that pattern is less aggressive, it has a lower Gleason grade. If it's more aggressive, it has a higher Gleason grade. In contemporary practice, we now only see Gleason grades three, four, or five. And the Gleason score is the sum of the two most predominant patterns.